Good day everyone, so the Hersha of Rebirth is here in Honkai Impact and honestly Zila is just such an amazing character. I'll give you my personal thoughts on her towards the end of this video but what you'll be seeing in today's video is of course how to use her from a support perspective. I think a lot of people might be interested in picking her up and I'd highly advise if you've got the crystals to get her so let us just do a bit of a showcase in the Memorial Arena against Eponia and I'll show you how how she can really synergize with one of my other favorite characters, Dreamweaver, here on screen. So the whole question we want to ask is, from a support perspective, can she do better than the Hersha of Sentience? Well, let's just get into it. So I've just skipped forward here in the beginning. Obviously, if you don't have the Hersha of Sentience, you can just use number 17 to parry against the little mobs here. But what's very important is that towards this little end of the parry sequence, you want to swap to Zilla, activate her um, ultimate event that's going to restore a large amount of SP and then you want to just quickly build up her Hersha charge and then of course do the charge attack right here that's going to restore more SP you do the QTE to uh, towards number 17 and then obviously you go back to Sealer trigger or ultimate this is going to give you amazing amounts of buffs now if you don't have a triple S dream weave or a very strong one you're better off using Zealous weapon active here but in my case I can actually go through one cycle or one phase and take care of Eponia so that's just what I'm going to do here in the background. Now as we are going to start finishing up here one of the important things to note about Zila is that her weapon active is incredibly useful against Eponia's little uh, mobs or angels here because what she's going to do is start gathering all of them in one place. So typically these would these guys would like spread out but here you can see I've gathered them all into one place and obviously once again I'm doing the normal things building up up that beautiful Hersha charge getting that SP going once again here to number 17 so you can really start seeing the pattern that we're using to play here over rotation now we're going to go back to uh, Zilla oh sorry to Dreamweaver here just want to quickly trigger the little ultimate evasion there we go now we're back to Zilla and now we're going to use her weapon active once again this is going to help group the enemies and the moment we can use Milstein of course you can see we swap to her and then we're going to just start uh, slamming down here hard on Eponia. You can see the damage is just so 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 good. This is much faster than what I had or what I've been able to do with the Hersha of Sentience and it's just so much more fluid. That is what I like about this character. The entire sequence and how you do it is just it's a novel way of playing and what's what's crazy about all of this is that my Zila is just one copy so obviously I've got the weapon and the stigmata but I don't have a double S or any other build I just got a plain normal character and from a support perspective you can see that she's not doing the damage but oh goodness she's definitely helped Dreamweaver do an incredible amount of damage I think if you go and you look at some of the statistics you'll note that my Dreamweaver does on average about uh, 400,000 damage with the Hersha of Sentience I found that in this case she would have done 377,000 damage on average so just at a normal S or a normal single pull on Zilla can give you so much value it's just absolutely crazy of course this assumes like with the Hersha of Sentience you've got the weapon and all the stigmata and all the good stuff in any case so let me give you my personal opinion on her I love characters like this that have multiple play styles that have beautiful animations I, I really this this feels like it's actually worth like your time and your money uh, to get a character like this and it's very rare that you'll hear this kind of sentiment from me uh, because I'm normally very very critical on MiHoYo uh, but yeah I mean I, I really like everything from what we've been presented so far so yeah definitely a I highly recommend it right thanks for watching